His name may sound funny, but I can assure you there's nothing humorous about that savage beast. With him came darkness and chaos. His minions of terror wreaked havoc upon the land, destroying all in their path with indiscriminate fury. Laughing as our world crumbled around them, Piccolo and his army destroyed one city after another with little opposition, except for one temple. It was in this secluded sanctuary the beasts faced a meager but determined school of martial artists. As the horde invaded the temple, the young fighters banded together for a final assault. Though hopelessly outnumbered, they were united and with their combined strength, they offered a formidable defense. Many demons fell that day, and alongside them, even more great men. When the battle was over, only two of the warriors were left standing. Myself and Crane Hermit. Unfortunately, the skirmish had barely made a dent in Piccolo's forces. Desperate and out of time, we concentrated our remaining energy into a shield that absorbed the enemy fire and, with a breath of luck, reflected it back at them. One bright light. That's all I remember. But somehow, it worked. The horde was vanquished. It was finally over. Or so we thought. Apparently, the monsters were just an opening act for King Piccolo himself. We barely got a glimpse of his ugly mug before he dismissed us with a wave of his hand. Against his might, we were but ragdolls caught in a storm. Jin and I were young and in our prime. We gave everything we had and still King Piccolo prevailed. All those lives lost and we didn't lay a scratch on him. He was immune to everyone, even Mu Taito. Who's Mu Taito? He was my master. Cease fire and surrender, Piccolo! I'll face the consequences. <laughs> oh, I prefer to watch you dance. <laughs> Enjoy. What? Evil containment wave successfully trapped King Piccolo. Open the jar! Now! The electronic jar my master had acquired was specifically designed to hold and contain evil. Quickly! Close it! Close it! No! Piccolo's fate was sealed, but at a heavy price. Having used up all of his energy, Master Mutaito could not endure the effects of the battle. He gave his life to save others, and in doing so, regained his honor. As for Piccolo, I obeyed my master's last command and threw the jar into the sea. No one has ever seen or heard from King Piccolo since, until today.